Minimod Showcase, this time Decor Pack 1, a freshly updated mod made by Aki. This has to be the best decor mod ever created. And you can trust me, because you know that I'm totally unbiased. It all starts with either glass production or diamond harvesting. Starting with the glass block, it needs 400 kilograms of that. And in exchange can be molded into one of five master tier statues. One mediocre statue or the abstract version of it. In order to activate the unicorn's awesome hidden feature, you need to press this button. The decor range for the glass block is 9 tiles. And the decor value is 20 for the one made out of glass and 40 for the one made of diamond. Translating to 35 as a glass masterpiece and 70 for a diamond masterpiece. And in addition to the statues, there's the stained glass. Stained glass can be built from 50 kg of diamond or glass plus 50 kg of a lot of different materials. For example, if you add algae to the mix, you will get a beautiful mosaic tile. Dirt will give you this minecrafty tile. If you mix diamond with diamond, you will get the one with the highest decor value. And then we have copper, sandstone, mud, bitumen, lead, igneous rock gives you that mug root mosaic, rust, granite, Cobalt from either a volcano or rock crusher, sedimentary rock, iron made from iron ore or directly from a volcano, aluminum from aluminum ore, the slime glass also has a real cool texture, bleachstone will give you tiny little puffs, obsidian, niobium however you get it, you can even use the resin from the angry tree, tungsten if you manage to find a volcano, you can also show off by using lime, ceramic, snow, ice, plastic, steel, Sulfur, salt, sucrose from the beetles, regular regolith. If you want to establish your dominance, you can use freaking thermium or insulation for that matter. Or how about some depleted uranium? You can make some out of gold by crushing gold amalgam or getting it from the source directly. And you can even use magma or regular water to refine the glass tiles. And there are a few more tiles compatible with other mods. Stained glass has a decor radius of 2 compared to the decor radius of 1 a normal glass tile has. While normal ones have plus 5 for glass and plus 10 for diamond, the stained glass has a minimum of plus 10 in a range of 2 tiles, plus 20 decor for the diamond ones and plus 30 for the diamond diamond ones. If you want a preview for the glass stained tiles, click on open palette here. This will open an index where you can scroll through all the different stained glass tiles. And now to all the beautiful mood lamps. Mood lamps have a decor radius of 4 tiles and a value of plus 25 when made out of glass. You can even increase that to plus 50 by building it out of diamond. If you activate a lamp you will get an additional plus 15 for the lighting. From stars, moons and Saturn over to the Tesseract, Connie 87, Brothgar, that thing here, a redstone lamp, brain in a jar, some dice and clay. You can find everything that your heart desires. A hula dancing pip, shining slickster, a well-fed unicorn, more the tiny little mushroom and cute Aki cat, the newly established cuddle pip, the crystal hatch, unreleased Aki content, the cute beta and a puffed. You need 100 diamond or glass to build them. The mood lamps take 6 watts of power and the light range from the center point is 3. To get access to the amazing mood lamps you need to research the interior decor and to get access to all of the glass products you need to go to glass blowing, getting the glass block and the stained glass in the process. And thank you so much for the amazing mood lamp Aki. Today's shoutout goes to Conny87, who is a German streamer that builds very nice bases. So for the German speaking audience oder die interessierten Deutschen unter euch, go and check the link in the description. If you like this mod, go to Aki's Steam page, leave a few stars, a like and if you feel especially generous, you could even leave an award. I chose the golden unicorn, but my screen didn't capture it. And if you enjoyed the video itself, leave a like here on YouTube. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next week.